everyone, welcome to SMA Studios, where we all love Lego. So today we are looking at this mock I made. Uh, it's Bag End from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. You can see the big tree of Bilbo Baggins up there. You can see Aragorn, which is uh, torso broke, so I had to give him Gimli's. Uh, here we have uh, Gimli. Which, um, since I gave uh, Aragorn uh, his torso, I had to give him another torso, but you can barely notice. And now we have Gandalf the Grey, of course. Gandalf. You saw him in the Dol Guldur battle video. And uh, Shadow Facts. Yeah, it's just a plain white horse. It's not that big of a deal. So, here we have a river. Small river. You know, just for them to get water and stuff. And here, of course, we have Mary Doc Brandybuck, or Mary for short. Peregrine Took, or, well, Pippin. So if we just take these guys out, we have the main star of the show, Frodo Baggins. And, uh, you know, it's just a standard Frodo minifigure I got um, from the Weathertop set. Um, I really like this figure. I like all the Lord of the Rings figures, and I want Lord of the Rings to come back so I don't have to make custom builds. You can see his back printing there, and he is holding the one ring, of course. And this is him um, with the Morgul when he gets stabbed by the Morgul blade. So, let's get to the actual build. So I think if this were a real Lego set, which it will never be, um, it would cost about 40 to 50 bucks. It's not like the original, you know, because the original is the original. And this is a custom. So here we have some greenery. No, some standard greenery that Bilbo's planted over the years. Um, so the story of the Hobbit Hole is actually that um, Belladonna Took and um, Bongo Baggins, you know, they got married. And uh, Mr. Bongo uh, built Belladonna, at least in the book, um, a nice, uh, the best hobbit hole ever. So in here, as you can see, we have a door that slides like that. I mean, if you want to take out the, you can see. And there's not much to bag end, really. I mean, there's a little bit of Easter eggs. There's uh, this pot from the Weathertop set, a candle, a little bed for Frodo or Bilbo. I don't have a Bilbo, so I guess it's for Frodo. Um, some, um, you know, uh, cups or, you know, you know what I mean. And, um, and a treasure chest with a few, a few jewels and... What's this? The one ring? You know, I just have a few lying around. And here, over here is probably my favorite part. You can see the um, map, a map back here. The Amelia Earhart set. I just pretend that's the Lonely Mountain uh, map. You know, last light of Durin's day and everything. And here we have, well, of course, where the dwarves all eat. But since I have no none of the dwarves and Gimli isn't in the company, then I don't have any dwarves. I don't even have Thorin. So, here we have a croissant, some pans, um, the butter beer piece, which I put here, some popcorn for some reason, a bowl and a pie and a teacup. You know, pretty standard, and back here is a little weaponry era, area. Um, this was a reference to uh, Bard the Bowman. I just put Bard's... Um, bow over here you know the black arrow and everything here we have a, a little um it was supposed to be sting but it's not really sting and over here you can see um the sword of godric gryffindor which i really like to use for gandalf since i have two swords because i bought the chamber of secrets set so yeah now let's get on to the roof shall we so if i can just elevate the camera here you can see that i kind of followed the original design you can see that 
Gandalf's staff is back there. You can see that there's some greenery, you know, a tree, some more greenery, the, the actual tree, like the big tree, look at that, and there's a little chimney, which I thought if, if I just took this off and put more greenery, that would look a bit too dull, so I decided to put a chimney, and the tree fell, whatever, and there's um some more, well, you know, trees, and yeah, so... So yeah, that's my Lego bag again. Definitely not good enough to go on Lego ideas, but I'm so pissed off that Lego didn't allow the bag end that was on Lego ideas to be an actual set. That thing looks so awesome and I would buy it in a heartbeat. I mean, maybe they're planning to do, redo the line, but after waiting like seven years, I, I, I wouldn't get my hopes up. But just imagine how cool a Baradour would look. Anyways... Keep loving Lego, guys. This is SMA Studios, signing off.